they found the first runner and the helicopter is hovering out there and selecting and making sure it's the right age and we've given the go ahead we're going to move in dart it capture it this was always going to be a bold project capturing 100 rhinos to move from high poaching zones in South Africa to low poaching in Botswana. It's just one thing we can all do to make a difference. But it takes a lot of effort by a lot of professional people to get the job done. Blindfold is really important because it's just blocking uh, what is happening. We don't obviously want to scare them. The drug was strong enough to put it down off its feet. They're now going to take DNA and all the other bites off. It's incredibly emotional watching this process. The rhino is being jabbed and manhandled, but we have to remember why we are doing this. Rhinos are being killed at a rate of one every seven and a half hours. It's important for us to document this moment. She can see us now. Yeah, she'll wake up now. One down. One down, <laughs> isn't that fantastic? <laughs> it really is. The first. Derek right now is uh, filming the rhino as it's been loaded onto the crate. Getting the bird's eye view. Hopefully the rhino is completely calm. This is a massive exercise. Moving 10 rhinos at a time isn't easy. We decided to move them by air in a Russian-made Illusion 76 to reduce the security risk and to reduce the stress to the rhinos. It's the largest plane ever to land in Maun. The largest number of rhinos in one aircraft and the start of the largest airlift of these animals ever. A crew of over 60, a lot of moving parts. There were a lot of emotional highlights, but seeing the convoy taking them on the final leg deep into the wild was definitely one of them. Into this place that will be their home, in the wild in the Okavango. It's as if we're rebuilding a puzzle of nature that had some pieces missing. And finally, last details completed. The first of these rhinos without borders steps out into Botswana soil, into freedom. Without any coordination, 60 people stood in total silence, out of respect, as they came out one by one. That respect and gratitude must go to the government of Botswana for supporting this, and to the combined teams of Great Plains Conservation and and beyond. And of course, to you all and everybody that has supported this. Thanks for supporting us. Let's keep going. To the rhino, staying in Africa and not going extinct.